Have you ever imagined creating an amazing parallax portal in Fortnite with refraction and full control over the parameters? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a portal material from scratch super easy. And at the end, I'll show you the result in game. So to get started, the first step is to create a new material by right clicking and choosing material. Name it and open your new material. From here, we're going to set up a few things so you can have your own portal. Don't worry, it's all super simple. On this main node, just copy these settings. From this point on, we're going to start adding some stuff. Just a quick heads up. Some of the textures I'm using in this video were made by me, and others are from UEFN itself. If you can't find some of them in UEFN by default, no worries. I'll be sharing them for free. Just check the description below. The main node we'll need to create this depth effect is called Parallax, and it's not enabled by default in UEFN, so we need to look for it in the Epic folder. Keep an eye on this part of the video. Every time I click on a node that needs to be changed, the settings will show up in this corner. Just match your settings with mine, Ace, and you'll get the same result. And whenever you're adding a new node, there are two ways to do it. You can right-click and search for its name, or use a shortcut if there is one. It's also important to mention that this portal material will be available on my Patreon, but if you get it from there, it'll be a bit more advanced, with a dissolve system and all the parameters neatly organized, which I'll show you how it works at the end of the video. Of course, if you want to do it manually, just watch this video all the way through. This part is for giving your portal a bit of refraction. Here in the texture section, you can choose any default normal map from UEFN. And congrats, you're almost done with your portal material. Let's move on to the final steps. Don't forget to keep it simple and pay attention to which texture channel I'm using, R, G, or B. Wow, look at that gorgeous texture. We're gonna use it to build our material. While you finish copying the last settings, I need to go feed my hamster. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. In this final part, you just need to start connecting the nodes to this main node, and your material will be almost ready. We need to do one last important step after that. Otherwise, even if you finish setting everything up, your portal will still be buggy. And before finishing, add this node, which will allow you to change its color anytime you want without having to go inside the material. But don't forget to convert it into a parameter. Anything that's a parameter can be easily changed later in the material instance. Now, save everything and close this material. In the content drawer, right-click on the material we just created and make a material instance from it. Now you can open it and change the parameters we added to the material. Set your parameters to match mine. If you made your material similar to mine, your material instance should look exactly like this. Just change these settings and you'll see the portal appear. And after that, you can play around with your portal and change some parameters to make it look different from mine for a unique result. When you place the portal material anywhere, always apply the material instance to the mesh, because that's where you change the parameters. And here's the result of the material that will be available on my Patreon. You can dissolve it, change the texture, and there are many other parameters to play with. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Your like and subscription are greatly appreciated and really motivate me to keep posting videos. Thank you.